So I started at the Roundup the my very first semester of my freshman year and worked there the entire time that I was in college. Uh, so I was there from the fall semester of 1998 through the uh, spring semester of 2002. I started as a, as a news reporter um, and I ended as the, uh, as the editor of the publication. The Roundup's been something that's been in the establishment of this university for years. We've been around since 1907, longer than the state of New Mexico, the longest active student organization on campus. You know, the Roundup, it's something that's been, a, been around for a long time. And, um, you know, it's really important to the, to the university. We are the watchdog of the university. And without it, you know, people wouldn't be held as accountable. Journalism is a trait. You learn by doing. Um, you learn by making mistakes and figuring out how to do them better. You learn by taking the rules that you learn in classes and occasionally breaking them and see how it works every story is unique and every headline is different and sometimes you can get creative with them but you're doing something that you were taught not to do in class um, and, and this is the place where that happened for me. Students when they're in college I think often feel like the administration may not take their concerns as, as seriously as they do the faculties. They, they feel like hey, we're students, you know, we're, we're paying for this opportunity, you know, can we even uh, have a voice or complain about what's going on here, you know, how can we change things? And I think one thing the newspapers can do is they give that voice to the, to the students and they can say this matters. The Roundup was great for me as a place to learn how to do journalism, to actually practice it, to make the mistakes, and I, I made some big ones. Um, and then to learn from them, uh, and it was also just a good way to get to know my, my peers and make friends. And... The Roundup has been extremely valuable to me in the two years that I've been here because it has allowed me hands-on training in terms of becoming an actual journalist and has opened up doors for me to learn a lot of things on how I can become the best journalist I can be. I've been at The Rounder for three years, and in those three years, I've really seen every position here. I've been a staff writer, I've been a section editor, been the managing editor, so to say, the editor-in-chief as well, kind of overseeing everything. And I can honestly say that in those three years, not only have I personally grown in my leadership development and in my ability to just communicate with others and be able to tell a good story, but also just in the way that I've been able to perceive uh, journalism as a whole and how valuable and how uh, that, that intrinsic value that it has with it. And that's something that I'm going to carry with me for the rest of my life. As far as I'm concerned, student journalists are journalists. Um, what happens at New Mexico State University is really important to you know, the 15 or 20,000 people who are right here between students and employees. The Roundup means a lot to me um, as a person. Um, it's something that I've always kind of known about since I grew up here in Las Cruces. When I would walk up to campus for basketball games or football games, I would see a roundup and I would read it. Um, it's something that's been around since 1907, so I, I do sometimes sit back and get a little nostalgic because I think about the history and the thousands of people that have walked through these offices and it's something that I'm extremely proud to be a part of and it's, it's an amazing fraternity to be a part of and it's something I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Journalism is like the last line of defense for society and and um, and journalism has been cut immensely nationwide uh, but, but we need journalists. We, this country and the society need, need journalists and, and this is where that happens. This is, this is where it starts. We've got to have good student media on campus and programs that support students learning how to do journalism, how to do it ethically, uh, the importance of it, regardless of you know, what, what, what focus area it's in. The students that are learning right now at the Roundup and other similar publications, they're the ones that are betraying guys like me and saying, no, this is how media needs to be presented nowadays. And so I think it's, it's that much more important to support what's going on now in the, in the college media publications. Hi, I'm Albert Luna. I'm the Editor-in-Chief here at the Roundup. We know that when it comes to spending your money, that there's a lot of ways that you can do that, and especially with donations. Yet we also know we're in a climate right now where journalism and truth matters. We know that right now in the city of Las Cruces, that the Roundup is a major media outlet and that people rely on us to tell the truth and to tell it accurately and to tell a good story to them. We've made great strides in our digital platform. We've expanded into multimedia with 
podcasting with videos and especially with photo galleries. However, the truth of the matter is that this cannot be sustained simply on our financial grounds that we're on right now. We need you, we need the consumers, we need the readers in any kind of way that you can to be able to donate into local journalism, into the future of journalism here in Las Cruces and in a broader sense in America. We wanna be able to tell a good story and to be able to tell that good story, we need to be able to be financially stable on that end. I highly encourage you to give to the Roundup today, not only because you're making a great difference right now in the students' lives, but also because you're building a future. One saying that I said last year and for a while now is keep your ears to the ground and continue to write your own story. We need help writing our own story right now with the Roundup, and I'm inviting you to be a part of that journey. Great futures start here at the Roundup. We humbly ask you today to not only give into the future of the great students that come through the Roundup, but give into the future of journalism. Thank you once again for supporting the student voice of New Mexico State University since 1907.